Good morning and welcome to a day in my life as a Google employee working remotely from Malta. And first stop for me is to head into the gym because, you know, you've got to get those gains even if you're like working remotely or you're on holiday in it. <laughs> so yeah, basically I head into the local gym in Malta, which was pretty extortionate for two weeks and get in a pretty, pretty solid workout. I'm doing this like science backed gym program thing by this guy called Julian and would highly recommend. So I get a solid workout done and I film myself in the gym, which is probably one of the hardest things that I'll ever do in my life in terms of people just watching me while I'm filming myself working out. But we got through it and I head back to the apartment to cook myself a really healthy protein focused breakfast, which in this case was a really good eggy bread with maple syrup, which honestly, such a vibe, even though I spill it almost over the floor. <laughs> this one almost slid off the plate. And once I've eaten my eggy bread, the first port of call is a catch up with an account manager in the UK and we're discussing a potential new opportunity to help a YouTube client in the beauty market grow in advance of Black Friday and Christmas and discuss a potential event to bring all the different beauty clients together in one. And after discussing plans for me to run this YouTube one to many beauty event, it's now time to jump straight into another meeting and catch up with my man Uzair who's currently changing jobs within Google at the moment, and he gives me some tips and thoughts around some of the challenges he's facing in his role right now, and some of the things that he's learned by doing that within a different team in Google. After this wonderful catch up with Isair, it's then time to head outside to work by the pool and do a little bit of final preparation for a presentation that I'm doing later on in the day. It's then time to catch up with Marvin, who's a good friend of mine who works in Google, and we chat about career progression, and different challenges. He's currently actually looking for a new kind of challenge or a new role right now. So we catch up around like our shared goals, what we want to do for personal development. Um, Google actually gives us like a personal development budget. So we talk a little bit about that and also what we want to do for the next five years or so and where we want to live. And so we chat about me potentially moving to London long term. At this point, I've been sitting outside with my overheating 16 inch Intel i9 laptop. And so I am well due to take a quick dip in this luxurious pool because I'm getting pretty hot and you know, I could do with a bit of a cool down. After having a nice swim up and down a few times with a few different lengths, that'll pretty much do my cardio for the day, I think. I then get out the pool, decide to catch a few rays, top up the vitamin D, check on Lucas who's also having a bit of a break and decide, you know what, I've burnt enough calories. I think it is time to head to the local shopping mall and grab some lunch. And there is a ton of premium lunch options in this shopping mall, including like a Marks and Spencers and even a Costa coffee, would you believe? So I head to the local supermarket, grab some super expensive premium apples, get a gigantic cinnamon bun, which probably has far too many calories in it. And then I decide, you know what, that's probably not super healthy. So I'll get a healthy lunch and get like a really nice kind of chicken Caesar salad, but like a little bit fancier than that. So after grabbing my super healthy chicken and kale and Caesar salad lunch, I head back to the apartment, which is super, super close to the shopping center. Healthy salad, very unhealthy Cinnabon. And then I decide, you know what, with a super tasty lunch, I may as well enjoy it on the terrace. And so I take the lunch with me and sit on the terrace outside. If you've not seen the apartment and seen the terrace, check out the apartment tour video that I already posted on the channel for more insight into the apartment that I've got in Malta. I don't normally eat kale in a salad. It's actually nice, but it's probably also the most expensive salad I've ever bought in my life. Like seven. Like seven euros. So I start eating this super healthy lunch, and because today is a super busy day with lots of back-to-back -back meetings, it's then time to jump straight into another call and another catch-up with my friend Davide, who works in the Google Italian team. And so I learn you know, all about what's going on from a YouTube perspective in that market, how YouTube's landing there, and how I can bring those learnings into the UK. And he also tells me about a super cool side project that he's working on about how to teach people on how to speak Italian. So nice one, Davide. After catching up with Davide, it is then straight into a client YouTube consultation call, which is a super advanced call that I actually deliver because if you didn't know, I actually now work for YouTube, which is part of Google. So I have a YouTube channel and I also work in YouTube in my day job now. 
And in this call, basically what I'm doing is I'm advising this client um, in the UK market who's starting to use YouTube to scale their business. And they're actually a really cool phone case brand who make lots of amazing cases for the new iPhone 13 line. So this is like a super peak time for them to scale their YouTube channel and their sales. And that is my job to help them do that. And they seem super happy with the plan and super happy to continue growing on YouTube. So all good stuff. And that is the end of the day. And I reward myself with that beautiful cinnamon bun that I ordered earlier um, as a way to kind of end the day before heading out. I wonder how many calories is in this? Like 4,000 probably. Mm. Good Okay, so work day is done. We are now gonna go all the way down to this little coastal area down by the beach, or what is kind of a beach, it's more of like a rocky bit, and jump straight into the pool. So, I'll see you there. And because the apartment I chose is super, super close to everything where I'm staying in Malta, it was so, so easy to just head down to the sea nearby and just go for a dip. Down here, it looks like I'm kind of walking into a car park, but <laughs> actually, a really nice spot for people to sit and relax. No sand, sadly, but there's like a nice little closed off bit where you can go for a swim and chill. I see Lucas enjoying his time in the sea, so I think, why the heck not? So I jumped straight in and actually realized, wow, the water's actually like super warm. So I have a little bit of a paddle, jump out, and then get dry, get warm, jump straight back in. Uh, we come out, chill by the kind of like coastline for a bit and watch the beautiful sunset go down in Malta. It's then time for me to switch clothes for the evening, Sims style. Lucas and I then head over to the ferry terminal to get a ferry to Valletta, which is only like one euro fifty per person. Want to say hi to the vlog? <laughs> and we then take a lovely walk around Valletta and see some beautiful parts of the town, including a really stunning Catholic church. We're walking around Valletta, kind of just browsing, kind of looking for a place for dinner. And funnily enough, we actually find and run into a British red telephone box, which I didn't kind of believe would actually be true. But just like I discussed in the Why I'm Moving to Malta video, check out the pop-up banner if you've not seen that one already. Uh, I actually saw them in person in Malta. So that was kind of random. We then do some exploring of the edge of Valletta and kind of around the port area. And apparently Malta was absolutely crucial in World War II for the British. We then check out this really cool bell tower, which is kind of like a siege bell war memorial, which the Maltese would ever use if they were under siege from some kind of like attacking forces. And then after a bit more exploring and walking around a bit, we think, damn, we're pretty hungry. And so we find this incredible pizza place near the square called Casa Sotto Valletta Pizzeria. Uh, and that was the tastiest pizza that I've had in some long time. Uh, we then do a little bit more exploring to wear off our dinner and find a really beautiful wine bar and we share a bottle of wine between the two of us, which uh, definitely gets us a little bit bevy. After enjoying a wonderful meal, some wonderful wine and a little bit more exploring, we then walk back down to the ferry terminal and head back to the apartment. But there was one more super important job left to do that I'd completely forgotten about, which was hanging up the load of laundry, which was more challenging than I expected. And with that incredible achievement, if I do say so myself, it is time to end the vlog. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Check out these two playlists to watch next. One will have all of the different vlogs and different day in the lives in it. And another has all of the different Malta and digital nomad content. So enjoy one of these two. Otherwise, have an awesome day, whatever you're doing. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.